welcome back everyone today we are going to be creating a kind of a gradient or a ramp msf material and before we have covered how to create an iridescent material or an emissive material today we'll see how we can add a bit more color into it so i'm going to take a simple sphere just for the demonstration purpose and let's scale this up and uh, let's add a new material to this let's go to Arnold stand surface and let's call this gradient all right so i'm gonna reduce the weight to zero we don't need it and for starters you can also take an incandescent bulb if you want i'm gonna go into my hyper shade right click on the gradient and graph network so this is our basic material so first thing i'm gonna do is make it a uh, emissive material let's make the weight to one and we have something like this so instead of one color what we want is a multiple color simple gradient so i'm going to search for ramp and i'm going to select ai rgb ramp now if you don't have ramp rgb this was introduced in maya 2020 you can also use ramp shader or ramp this is native ramp which comes with maya so you can use that as well so i'm going to plug this into the emissive color and we have something like this because we have black and white shade so we have different types of uh, gradient preset like UV, diagonal, circular, box and time and so on. So I'm going to keep it to custom for now and uh, for the demonstration purpose let's keep it V and uh, I'm going to choose something like maybe red and uh, maybe a purple. Let's take this. This looks pretty good and uh, let's go back and uh, let's turn off. Uh, IPR and we have something like this so I'm gonna take a simple plane as our floor just so we can see the emissiveness and uh, let's scale this down and three on your keyboard all right so this is what we have now before we had only one color we can use multiple color you can add more color into your gradient you can uh, pretty much use how much color intensity you want in this how much color you want a particular amount of color like you want if you want to add more yellow into this you can add a bit more yellow into this and you can play around with this have a lot of uh, how do I say this markers color markers and you can use that if you don't like this interpolation what else you can also do is you can simply take this and make it a non interpolation none and you can have something like this as well Let's take maybe a green and you can use this as well. And uh, apart from that, you can keep it uh, to smooth. You can use this as well. And you can change the overall directions to however you want. And maybe add a more, bit more diagonal look into this. So this looks pretty good to me. So this is how you can add a lot of different color. You can use circular. I'm going to make this somewhere like this and uh, pretty much play around with this have fun with this so there's a lot of different ways that you can use it if you're using it uh, maybe not in this but let's I'm gonna take a simple box and let's reduce this and uh, select this and this extrude this inside let's change the overall offset here delete and there you go i'm not gonna bridge the whole thing i think uh, that's okay so you can use i'm gonna add some material for the plane as well just so we have a bit more reflective thing going on let's make this to somewhere about there all right so we have something like this and if you want to add a bit more dynamic into the scene, what you else you can do is you can simply make this over about 50 and 50 and uh, you can sculpt this out. Let me make my brush smaller. Let's pause this for now. Alright. Let's make this over right over there. And now you have something like this. So it's really fun and easy to play around with this and create some amazing stuff with this. Instead of just playing around with one color, you can play around with lots of different colors to create more better looking renders and a bit more good emissive materials. 
So that's it for this one. This was a pretty short video. Play around with this, have fun with this, and I'll see you in the next video.